Mom's Rose, and we're back. And I'm ready to do another unboxing of a Laoji Yuan order of six diamond paintings. Now, most of them were pebble round, but some of them were not because I'm doing an experiment. But I will tell you about the experiment when I get to the experiment diamond paintings. For now, I'm going to open another one of the 50 by, well, 40 by 50s that I bought. And this is, well, that's a little tiny thumbnail. Um, I call this one Hummingbird and Flowers because it's a picture of a hummingbird and flowers. All right, so uh, now I always take off this sticker that they put on the box because I like to stick it to my drill bag that I put the drills for a particular diamond painting in. All right, so inside the box we have the diamond painting in another plastic bag. Now as uh, I noted when I unboxed the first box that was attached, there were three boxes all together. Um, this shipment got damaged. Well, it didn't get damaged, it got crushed in shipping. Uh, that has not caused a problem. I opened the most damaged uh, box first, and um, that was the Peacock and Roses, and it came out perfect, so I'm not concerned that there's going to be anything wrong with this one. Now this is, oh look at the, oh, okay. I decided I was going to try something a little bit different. And so I got the this diamond painting not in crystal round. This is in square. And I think it's going to be amazing because the colors are just beautiful. We'll take a look at the colors of the drills in a moment. For now, I'm going to show you the kit. And it's the same kit that you get with every Laoji Yuan diamond painting. Uh, so you get a green boat with a cutout. Um, you get a piece of wax. You get a single placer with a cushy, and you get a multi-placer tip. I think that's probably around a seven or nine. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to use it, so it doesn't really matter to me. All right, so I'm going to throw that aside. All right. Uh, they also ship it with a little teeny tiny tone core, which is, I don't know. I suppose it's, it's nice of them to do, but I don't know that it actually does much in the way of protecting the diamond painting from damage. Uh, I suppose it does a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm just going to weigh this down with the drills at the top, and I'll weigh it down with the scissors at the bottom. Make sure you can see all of that. Well, you can see most of it. Not sure if this will go up anymore. Okay, it went up a little bit more. Okay, so you can see pretty much everything here. I just thought this was a lovely painting. Now, uh, you do not get the benefit of the depth of color from the charted canvas. Uh, the colors on this is what made me go for it. So I'm just gonna hold up so that you can see it better. There we go. That's what the colors are supposed to look like. And since I've got it here, I'll show you the legend. So we have a bunch of uh, three tens. Now I mentioned in my last diamond painting that Laoji Yuan consistently uses this symbol for three tens. So, so far they haven't proven me wrong. Let's hope they don't prove me wrong on an upcoming diamond painting. Uh, so let's just take a quick look at the legend. They do use what I consider to be fairly simple symbols, and I have all of these symbols already marked on drill boats, so I won't have to label any new drill boats. I can just use existing drill boats um, for this, because I, I just reuse the same drill boat that has a particular uh, symbol on it for all the diamond paintings that have that symbol. So. 
Um, okay, I'm going to pull this back and flatten it a little bit. It probably doesn't need it, but I do it anyway. And there we go. I just want to make sure. Oh, some of the adhesive is okay. The adhesive was coming up. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to rub this down at the corners. It's only at the corners that I'm really concerned that um, the adhesive will pull up. I just want that adhesive nicely adhered to the canvas. Uh, and I've never had a problem with the adhesive not adhering to the canvas before. Um, I, I do really like the adhesive that Laoji Yuan uses. Now, there we go. Sometimes it's, um, it's hard to start it. Now, I'm pretty sure that Lao Ji Yuan uses poured glue. Um, at least I've always been pretty sure of that uh, because I've never ever had a river um, or a bubble or a pucker or anything like that in a Lao Ji Yuan diamond painting. And as many of us know, uh, when we have the double-sided tape, that um, many of the companies use. Oh, there's a, there's a hair on here. Oh, is it a hair or is it? Yeah, it's a hair. It's a hair or a fiber. Oh, it looks like it might be a fiber. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch it. Um, as many of us know from the double-sided uh, tape that uh, the plastic or the paper covered diamond paintings um, are uses adhesive. Uh, that does tend to pucker and you get rivers and so forth. But I've never had that with a plastic cover. Um, and so I generally like plastic covers. Now what I found with this one and the one that I just opened is that the plastic uh, is sticking awfully tight to the diamond painting. So I don't think that's gonna be a problem, but I might end up replacing it with some parchment because what you don't want, and it would be a problem with some of the cheaper plastic covers that you get on, you know, Peggy Buy and, and things like that. Um, because the plastic that they use is so thin, uh, it might rip if it's, if it's really stuck to the adhesive, this is not. Like, this is coming up beautifully here. Okay. Um, and so, if it rips, then it, then it can be a pain in the butt trying to get it off the canvas. So that's why uh, with Peggy Buy and some of the other ones that use the really thin plastic sheets, if, if it seems like the plastic is sticking to the canvas too much and it's hard to pull it up, um, if I have to fight with it, then I replace it with parchment paper, not wax paper. It has to be parchment paper. And, um, and then that'll make sure that the kit does not um, get destroyed when, when the plastic, if the plastic were to rip. Okay, so I'm going to bring you down and I'm going to show you the drills. Uh, but just before that, I'm going to tell you about this diamond painting. I'll do that while I unwrap the, the drills. So this one is Hummingbird and Flowers. I bought it uh, in a 40 by 50 size and I got square drills. I got it from the Laoji Yuan store on AliExpress. And interestingly, they charged more for this than they did for my crystal drill diamond painting in the same size. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Huh. I'm actually gonna check that. Hold on. I'm gonna see what the price is for Pebble as opposed to Okay, so it's the same price for pebble or for square or for round. Um, this is currently $34.74 before any discounts. 
Um, I paid $34.56 before discount. So the, with discount, it came out to $32.14 Canadian. Um, the US amount for this painting when I bought it was uh, $25.74. So what Laoji Yuan does apparently is they price their canvases according to the number of drill colors. So the last one that I ordered uh, had 17 colors. This one has 25 colors. So more, about a third more, okay? And so, uh, compared to the Peacock, which cost me 27.70, uh, they charge 30, well, okay, it charged, the Peacock cost almost $30 Canadian, and this one cost $34.50 Canadian. So they increased the price slightly because of uh, the different colors of drills. I'm okay with that. You know what? I think this is a, a reasonable price to pay for a diamond painting. And I'm not going to complain that uh, they charge different amounts for different paintings depending on the number of drills. Uh, or the number of colors, rather. I think that's reasonable. I, I'm fine with that. Okay. So here we have all our beautiful colors. Oh my, oh yeah, this is why I bought this diamond painting. Oh, those colors, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just gonna ooh and ah over the colors for a bit, and I'll bring you in close so that you can see them, and I'll show you the drill field and so forth as well, and then we're gonna do our inventory. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, this is, this is awesome. Um, I love bright, vibrant colors, and that is exactly what I'm getting with this. And I am so glad that I got this in square drills, because I am going to love working with that orange, for example, and that yellow, and look at that 3607, it's one of my favorite colors. Then over here we've got a 917. Look at that, anyway, oh my goodness, and then our beautiful 310s and 154s, and what's that, 3830, 30. okay, these colors are to die for, just beautiful, look at that creamy yellow there, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, I'm going to put you back in the cradle, I'm going to bring you down close, and we're going to do an inventory together. Okay, I think you can see uh, everything I'm doing. I'll hold each of the colors up nice and close so that you can see um, the color of the drills as well as the quality of the drills. And I'm just going to mark the, as you see here, well, I don't know if you can see or not, but the plastic covering uh, just, just runs along the very edge of these numbers. So I'm just going to uh, do inventory on the plastic cover here. All right. So there's our 702. And because Laoji Yuan always sends a lot of extra drills, I am not going to bother to weigh, like to confirm the weight, or and I don't worry about um, quantity because I know they're they're very generous with their quantities. Okay, here's our 550. Oh, this 797, that is such a beautiful, beautiful, rich color. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then here we have our 721, which is kind of a darker uh, pumpkin color. Oh, my pen's not working very well, that's okay. Uh, here we have 833, which is like a mustard. 827, just a beautiful color. And I'm looking at these drills and they are absolutely flat. Um, and they look absolutely perfect. I don't see any divots. Like I, I usually see little dimples in, I've seen a lot of dimples in drills recently. And these don't have dimples. Um, so the thing about Lao Ji Yuan is 
their drills are really good quality. Like uh, crystal drills are always a bit of a problem with quality, but because Lao Ji Yuan sends so many of them, I consider them to be a high quality drill company because I have more than enough to throw out any drill that's even a little bit wonky. And um, I still have tons of spares when I'm finished a diamond painting. So um, this company is, it looks like uh, they're probably about the same with their uh, square drills, at least I hope so. I will certainly let you know if there's any problem with the quantities. Uh, but I am looking at these drills and every single color I look at, the drills are perfect. Like perfect. I don't see any little feet. I don't see, I don't see any concave. They're not sticking. They're not even staticky. Like static is not a big deal. It's easy to fix static with a little bit of a dryer sheet, but um, they're not even staticky. So, so you gotta love that. Here's our 451. If, if, I don't wanna get ahead of myself here, but if these drills are as perfect as all of that, and if they fit perfectly, because I've been working with a bunch of different companies that, um, you know, to make sure that their drills fit perfectly, well, that their drills don't uh, pop, they make the drills just a little teeny tiny bit too small. And so you can actually see, um, you can actually see uh, the grid lines behind, especially the lighter color drills. I don't like that. I mean, I like it better than popping drills, but I don't like it um, as much as, oh, I've got a, got a yellow, but it's not a yellow that belongs here. Okay, the, uh, is it? I, I, I'm, I am obsessive about putting all my drills together. So no, this, this drill does not belong here. It's, it's just a stray drill from the factory. Okay, so here we have this orangey yellow. It's kind of like a egg yolk yellow. Um, just beautiful. It pops. Oh, 946. I don't know. Like, I'm not a huge fan of orange, but I love this. I could call this my favorite color today. Wow. Wow. And then I'm glad to see that the three tens are not like, there's not 20 or 30, uh, grams of them. Uh, let's take a look at the three tens in a little bit more detail. I'm going to pour some out into a drill tray that I keep here just for this purpose. Now, it would be better if it was a white drill tray, but oh well. All right. So let's take a look at these. They look pretty good to me. They look pretty good to me. Yep. I don't see any problems with these. Wow. Okay. There might be one there that, that is concave, but I'm not too fussed about that. If there's just one or two, that's fine. Um, yeah, so anyway, so a lot of companies lately seem to have been addressing the uh, popping drill issue by making their drills just a wee bit too small for the squares that we put them on. And so what that means is with light color, oh, I didn't mark off 3830, okay. So what that means is um, for a color like 3024, for example, you might be able to see some of the um, grid lines behind it because the squares, like the, the drills are not big enough to completely cover, like they don't touch each other. Um, so that, I find that annoying. Uh, it doesn't necessarily make the diamond painting look bad from a different, from a distance. The diamond painting still looks great. Um, it, and it's really only in the light colors that you notice very much that the drills don't touch each other all the time. Um, but I like a diamond painting that has drills that not just touch each other, 
but that snap perfectly into place. I got spoiled by doing an ever moment early on in my diamond painting um, experience, and that experience has pretty much ruined me for any company that does not do um, perfect drills. Uh, don't even get me started on um, popping drills because those I hate more than anything. I will take small drills over popping drills any day of the week. Okay. All right, so we'll just run our finger, well, my finger down the list. And even though it's faint, every single one of them is ticked off. So this is a, this is a fully complete diamond painting kit. I even got an extra drill in it, another color. Um, that'll go into my mixed drills because I keep every drill. I don't ever throw away a drill. Okay, so that's it. That is the Hummingbird and Flowers. Uh, this happens to be my 212th diamond painting order. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, I, I think I might do this one sooner, uh, just because it's, it's a nice size. It is the biggest size that I could get this in without doing a special order. They will do special orders. I One time I looked into getting a, a custom done in a 60 by 90, and uh, they do do custom orders, and I might uh, get some custom orders done in bigger sizes, depending on how this works, because uh, I do love the colors, and uh, I love the way they label their, like I like the way they um, provide you with drills in, uh, baggies so you don't have to um, you don't have to kit up these kits you can just work straight out of the baggies so I love that um, and this is hummingbird and flowers oops I don't think you can see that it is uh, wait 40 by 50 and it is square and it's loud G U1. There we go. That's it. Um, so this one is ready to put in my stash and that's what I'm going to be doing as soon as I finish this video. So I want to thank all of my patrons. Uh, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it more than I can tell you. And for all of my viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to my channel again and again and again. Uh, I do this because I want to show you beautiful diamond paintings and beautiful drills and just share my experiences in diamond painting with you. So please keep coming back for visits. I love to have you pop by. Take care, everybody. Leave me a comment down below and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <music>